Hello everyone, this is Siddharthan. In this video, I am going to explain you how you can import data sets directly from Kaggle to your Google Collaboratory. And for this, we will be using Kaggle API. And the full form for API is Application Programming Interface. So APIs are nothing but software intermediaries that allows two software or two application to talk to each other to carry out some function. So in this case, the function is nothing but to share the data from Kaggle to our Google Collaboratory. Okay. So what is the use of this? API. Why we need to use this API to get the data set? So let's try to uh, uh, you know answer this question. So in machine learning, we may deal with a very huge data set. So those data sets can be you know 5 GB or 10 GB or even hundreds of GB. So we cannot download that data set and again upload it to our Google Collaboratory environment. And in those cases, APIs are uh, really helpful because it helps us to uh, get this uh, you know these data sets quickly and use it in our collaboratory environment. Okay. So that is what we are going to see in this video. And before uh, you know going into the video, I would like to give you a quick introduction about my YouTube channel. So in my channel, I'm making a hands-on machine learning course with Python. So you can see the course curriculum video here once you go to my channel. And you can also download the course curriculum file from here. So it's in the description of this video. So in this video, I have explained all the modules and uh, the videos which I'm going to cover in my channel. So you can also head towards this playlist page. It contains all the modules that I have covered. So the first module we have seen is the machine learning basics. And in the second module, we have seen all the Python basics required for machine learning. And in the third module, we have discussed about some important machine learning libraries such as uh, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seabonds, etc. Okay, so currently we are in the fourth module, which is data collection and pre-processing. And uh, as you can see here, I have given the number as 4.2. Okay, so we also have about eight machine learning projects and we will work on more projects in the future. Okay, so this is about my channel. And with that being said, let's uh, continue with today's video. And this environment is called as Google Collaboratory. Okay, so Google Collaboratory helps us to run Python programs. So if you are new to this Google Collaboratory or if you are not aware of this Google Collaboratory, so you can go towards this module two this playlist in my channel and in the first video you can see this Google Collaboratory for Python. In this video I have explained how you can access Google Collaboratory and uh, how you can access several features in Google Collaboratory. Okay, so now the first step to import the data set is to install the Kaggle library. Okay, so just one second. Okay. So I'll just make a comment here. Installing the Kaggle library. So for this, we need to do pip install and just precede the code with an exclamatory mark. So this is a system command and all the system commands should be preceded with an exclamatory mark in Google Collaboratory. So let's put pip install. Kaggle. Okay, so the K is in short, you know, in uh, small letter and it's not a caps. So you need to make note of it. So let's run this pip install Kaggle. So you can press shift plus enter to run this cell and go to the next one. So it says requirement already satisfied. That means the collaboratory environment already have this Kaggle uh, library installed. Now we need to upload our Kaggle.json file. Okay, so I'll just make a text here. Upload your Kaggle.json file. So this contains our account details, this JSON file, and it helps us to give the authorization from this Google Collaboratory tree to our Kaggle account. Okay. So and that is one, one another important thing to note here. So the account, the email ID you are using for your Google Collaboratory should be the same in which you are uh, signed up with Kaggle. Okay, then only the JSON file will work and the API will work. Okay, so you can just go to this Google uh, Google and search for Kaggle.com. So this is the first page which we will uh, encounter and I'm going to show you how you can import a big data set. And for this, I'm going to uh, search earthquake prediction. So this is a very interesting uh, project in machine learning. Okay, so earthquake prediction. So search for earthquake prediction and go to this competition uh, options. So you will get this LANL earthquake prediction. And this is the data which we are going to get. Okay. So when you first open this, so it won't uh, tell that it is late submission. So here will be an option called as join competition. So before download, you know, downloading the data, you need to accept some uh, rules and conditions, and then you need to join the competition. Then only you can get the data set. Okay. So you should also sign up for Kaggle. So I hope you are clear with that. 
and once you sign up you need to join this competition so once you join this competition it will ask for the submission button now what we need to do is we need to go to this account so you can just uh, click here so it will give various options and you need to go to this account option so here we will download our api token so if you scroll down you can see this api option so now we need to create a new api token so this will download a kaggle.json file and we need to upload this file to our google collaboratory okay so now so i'll also explain you about the data set which we are going to uh, import so uh, and the order in which i am doing is very important so first you need to accept the competition rules you need to join the competition and then only you need to download the json file so if you do it the other way around it won't work so just do it in the same order i am using so you can also download other data sets as well so our json file has downloaded so now we can upload it so for uploading it you need to go to this files option and you can give this upload options or you can just right click and go to upload okay so let's upload this kaggle.json file okay so this will be uploaded now we need to configure the path of this json file to read it so i'll just give the code you know this uh, link for this google collaboratory in the description of this video so you can open it from there just copy the code snippet and run so configuring the path of kaggle.json file okay so we need to proceed it with exclamatory mark because these are system commands mkdir so this represents make directory okay mkdir means so make directory so forward slash dot kaggle so we are creating a folder called as kaggle and cp kaggle.json kaggle.json and forward slash kaggle chmod 600 kaggle and kaggle.json so this is basically configuring the path so we need to locate our json file so it, this is the code snippet for it so we are just making a directory called as kaggle and we are locating this uh, kaggle.json file okay so we can run this now i just check it once so make directory p kaggle okay so kaggle.json okay so let's run this just press shift press enter okay so now we can import the data set so i'll just make a text here so we are going to import so importing the get quack data set so we are going to import it through our api so api to fetch the data set from kaggle okay so just change this now go to uh, this earthquake prediction page and go to this data okay so here you will find the api command so you can see the line here so this is the api command so this is use the api uh, kaggle api to download the data set so we need to copy this api so just go to this option so this will copy your api command so i'll copy this and we need to paste it here but we need to proceed it with exclamatory mark okay so now let's run this so this will get all the uh, data set from it so you can see the speed in which it's downloading the content it's almost 100 mb per second so and you don't need to worry and your mobile data or your wi-fi data won't be charged for this so it's just happening online so it will happen real quickly okay so it will just take one or two minutes or even less than that to get the data set okay so you can also see the timer here so it's in seconds so about 45 percent 50 percent is just done so basically it contains all these uh, you know files so we have this test folder these are the test data so once you have, you have made the model you need to test it on those data okay so this is basically a kaggle competition in which people submit their uh, 
competition coach and their coach will be evaluated okay so our data set is downloaded so you can see the files here okay so these are the test data points and the important data data set we need is this train.csp okay so this is a csv file and this is a very huge file so you can see here it is about 2 gb and it contains uh, you know even lakhs of data points so you can just go here and see the train.csv so it gives the sample of this uh, data okay so we have uh, two columns acoustic data and time to failure i'll just explain you in a minute about these columns okay so this will download our uh, data set so the important thing to note here is this is a zip file so this is a compressed file right so we need to extract this file to train.csv okay so let's see how we can do it so I'll, now we are going to extract the compressed file so i'll make a comment here extracting the compressed data set okay so we are going to use the library zip file so from zip file import the zip file function zip file and i'll store this data set path so data set is equal to so i'm creating a variable and i'm going to store my data set path to this variable so i'll just copy this train.csv.zip copy path and let's paste it here so data set and put it in quotes now we can extract it with so this with function or with keyword is used to open a file so with zip file so we are calling this function so with zip file mention the path which is stored in this data set variable so we need to mention data set and we need to read the file so r represents to read so uh, read as zip so now we need to use the function zip dot extract all so this extract all function will uh, you know extract that compressed file and once we have uh, completed it let's print that the data set is extracted okay <clears throat> so so we can run this and this will take maybe two or three minutes so let's run this and wait and in the meantime and i'll explain you about this data set okay so in this uh, project uh, yatko x are created in uh, laboratory scale so you can see the overview of this so this is basically to forecast yatko x and we have the data set here which contains acoustic data or it's uh, you know you can see here so it's acoustic data and time to failure i'll just go to this train.csv so you can also expand it and see what is meant by those columns so acoustic data represents the seismic signal so those signal represents the strength of an earthquake and time to failure so the time in seconds until the next laboratory earthquake is carried out so you can see that so if if this is the acoustic data this is the uh, you know time in seconds that will you know take to uh, next earthquake to occur so basically we will train our machine learning model or neural network with this data so when you give this acoustic data it should give the time to failure so how much time it requires for the next earthquake to occur so this is about this data so this is a very interesting and uh, you know very complex uh, data, you know machine learning project so you can also work on this so this is very interesting so you can go to this code section and you can see some samples of the codes that has been uh, submitted for competition so i suggest you to practice this code and see how all the things work here okay so this is how so you can see the data set size here it's almost 10 gb and we have imported it imported this data set in no time so it you know almost took 31 seconds so this is how you can extract large data sets through kaggle api okay so this is still uh, you know extracting so once this file is extracted so you know this line will be printed and after that you can just import it to this uh, you know pandas data frame and do some processing and feed it to our machine learning algorithm and do some you know predictions so i hope you have understood how we can uh, import uh, data sets from kaggle so this will be very helpful in your machine learning journey so that's it for this video so do practice this code and let me know if you run into some error. Okay. Thanks for watching.